So this this poor bloke's and he's an adult male koala, um, and he's been burnt in the fires. Um, he's come through it with a few injuries so there's some of his hands that are relatively unscathed like this one but unfortunately when they walk across the fire grounds they do cause some really nasty burns um, he's had a bit of sedation so he's allowing us to have a look but you can actually see the singed fur on the side of his paw there so um, he's got some burns associated with that now you can see his, his, his coat's got a lot of smoke um, it's slightly singed in places his, his lungs have a little bit of um, smoke damage to them as well. So um, he's, he, he's a very sick koala, but he's one that we do have hope for. A lot of the island's population of koalas have been killed by the fires. Um, some of the estimates I've heard are about 30,000 koalas that have been killed. And when you, when you look at, at the number of koalas that we've actually got here, we've, we've got about 60 that have been brought in from the fires out of 30,000 that have been killed or injured, that's not a very high number. Their survival rate um, is very low, as to be expected. They, they're, they're, they were infernos. It's amazing that some have survived, but they have, and we're gonna do our best to get them back to full health, and then ultimately um, if back to the wild when they're ready.